you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Ruckus Smart Zone controller based on a high scale deployment of the version 5.2 release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, I'll provide an example of how to configure an 802.1x wireless LAN. So let's get started. First, we'll log into a high scale instance of the virtual Smart Zone controller. Once logged in, you can see that this instance is running version 5.2.0.0. Dot six nine nine, or simply referred to as 5.2. Now before we configure the wireless LAN, let's look at one of the prerequisites for the 802.1x WLAN. I'm going to navigate over to Services and Profiles, then Authentication on the left side pane of the Smart Zone dashboard. Now in order to authenticate 802.1x clients, an authentication service must be configured on the Smart Zone controller. This is because in 802.1x, the client doesn't communicate directly to the authentication server. A network device is responsible for sending authentication messages. And with SmartZone, there are two types of authenticator services available. There's non-proxy, where the AP sends the authentication request directly to the authentication server. And then there's proxy mode, where the SmartZone controller itself is responsible for sending the authentication request to the server. As you can see here, I have both proxy and non-proxy mode authentication servers configured. Also, because this is a high-scale deployment of Smart Zone, a realm-based proxy profile must also be configured to allow proxy operations. Demonstrations covering proxy and non-proxy authentication services, as well as realm-based proxy profiles are available, so if you're not familiar with these concepts, I recommend you view those demos before proceeding. In this demonstration, I'm going to configure an 802.1x WLAN that will be used by employees. To configure a WLAN, we select Wireless LANs from the left side pane of the dashboard. And Wireless LANs are created within zones, so I'll navigate down to the zone and click the Create button. I will name the WLAN Employee WLAN, which will also become the SSID. The zone is correct for my needs, as is the Wireless LAN group. In the Authentication Options section, I'll leave it as standard usage, but I'll change the method to 802.1x EAP. Now before I click this option, I'm going to collapse the encryption options and data plane options so you can see the impact of my selection. Notice when I change the method to 802.1x EAP, the accounting service section changes to authentication and accounting service, and the authentication service requires a configuration as denoted by the orange asterisks. This is where we select which of our authentication services will be used. The Use the Controller as Proxy toggle determines which list of authentication servers will be used. If you keep the toggle set to Off, only non-proxy services are available from the drop-down list. If you toggle the Use Controller as Proxy switch to On, only the Realm profiles are available. Since I have both configured, I can go with either one, but I'll stick with the proxy mode with the MSP-01 Realm Profile selected. Of course, there are many other settings that could be applied to this wireless LAN, but they're not directly related to 802.1x authentication, so I'll leave them as they are and click OK to save the wireless LAN. OK, now let's test connectivity to this wireless LAN and verify I can log in with 802.1x authentication. From my mobile device, I'll access the Wi-Fi settings and select the Employee WLAN. I'm prompted for my credentials, and once entered, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now I can access the internet and even search for and get to the Comscope website. Back at the Smart Zone dashboard, I can select clients from the left side pane, locate the mobile client, and in the general tab, see the authentication method for my connection is indeed standard plus 802.1x. I can also see that I'm in an authorized state, and it even shows me the username I connected with. So this concludes a demonstration on configuring 802.1x WLAN on a high-scale smart zone controller running release 5.2. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration.